Hey guys! Today I'll be showing you how to create these fun rainbow nails that really remind me of those flower cloud thingies in Spongebob. But they are so much better because instead of underwater, they're on a rainbow, and rainbows are always better. If you want to know how you can create this design, then keep watching. So to create this design, you will need a base and top coat, a chunky glitter nail polish, liquid latex to protect the skin around your nails, for the gradient, you'll need a sponge. I'm using a washing up sponge, but you could also use a makeup sponge. Polishes from the OPI Color Paints collection, but you can use any jelly polishes you have in a range of colors. I'm using a yellow, orange, pink, purple, and blue. For the stamping, you'll need the BP43 stamping plate from Born Pretty Store, a white stamping polish, or a white polish that is opaque in one coat, and a stamper and scraper. So let's get straight into this tutorial. After applying a base coat, paint one coat of glitter nail polish and let it dry. If your glitter polish doesn't have densely packed glitter like this one, you might prefer to sponge on the glitter instead. Then put a latex barrier around your nails as gradients can get messy. For the gradient, paint stripes of yellow, orange, pink, purple and blue onto the sponge and sponge this on the nail. For my middle and ring finger I had the yellow at the base of the nail, but for the rest of the nails I sponged the yellow at the tip of the nail. It doesn't really matter though. Then peel off that latex barrier. I forgot to apply liquid latex to my index finger and I had to scrub off the polish the old fashioned way with a cotton bud and nail polish remover. <sighs> Before stamping, I smoothed out the surface of my nail using a layer of top coat and letting it dry. Once dry, paint white polish over the flower design on the stamping plate, scrape off the excess and pick up the design with the stamper. I love this clear jelly stamper as it's completely hollow so you can easily position the design on your nail. So press the stamper to your nail to transfer the design. I usually use masking tape to clean up all the little bits of nail polish left on my skin, but for some reason it didn't really work with this white polish, so I had to use a brush and polish remover instead. Apply a final layer of top coat. And you're done! Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, leave me a comment letting me know what design I should do next, and I'll see you soon, bye!